Well, good evening. Welcome, everybody, to a Nobody's Like Jesus telecast. And we're here tonight, Brother Harry James, and we're here standing in the stead for Brother John Webb. He kind of left the country today. Well, he'll be back about Friday, I think. But he's going to church. He told me he's going to church this morning. And uh, he's going to church all week down in Georgia at the camp meeting. And I told him I'd just come down and uh, enjoy myself with these singers tonight. For uh, we've got a new group, a uh, new name anyway. But I, I know the faces, but uh, forever change is, is what they're going by. Well, they're going to be singing some here, and, and we're looking forward to hearing them uh, sing in a few minutes. But uh, uh, first of all, I want to say this: that if you tune to telecast tonight and you don't know the Lord Jesus and the free pardon of sin, that's what it's all about. That's why we're here every Monday night. That we might tell you that Jesus loves you above everything. That you might be saved. Believe the gospel. Because if you call on the Lord Jesus, you can know Him tonight for you, for yourself. Did you know that? You be set at liberty. It's God's good pleasure. I read the Scriptures to tell me it's not God's will that any perish, but that all would come to repentance. So that lets me know that includes you tonight. And we're praying for you. If you're lost and undone without God, you're first on our list in prayer tonight that God would touch your heart and cause you to point in the right direction today. And that's Calvary, friend, because there's not another name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ can do the job if you want Him to. But you know, you'll have to want God tonight. But the good part about that is we can want Him. Praise His holy name. I'm glad for that tonight to know that we can be born of His sweet spirit and be ready for that great and notable day of the Lord. Because as we look around today, the trouble the world in, I tell you, it, it, it lets us know that the coming of the Lord is not far away. I, I'm one that believes He could come tonight. I, I don't Amen. believe He has to wait on anything. I believe, right. it's, I believe it's that close. Amen. And I don't know of anything else, else that needs to happen. I, the church, the brides are getting herself ready. And you can be part of it tonight if you want to be. Uh, church, before we uh, turn over to the singers tonight, we've got some prayer requests. We want to read them off. And uh, I've got some good friends too. Brother Lonis Wilson. Uh, we want to remember especially his family tonight. Passed away there Saturday and uh, 71 years old. Not very old. I, I thought he was a little bit further down past me than that, but uh, uh, 71. So I, I'm 67, but I, I thought Lawrence was about 73. That's what I was guessing him to be. But I had him had him too up too old that's all he is to it but the lord called him home man loved god and i thank god for his testimony he left this world with the testimony that he loved god I, you know that's all we can do when everything summed up and said and done is all we can be is ready and uh that's what the scripture tells us anyway but that's, let's pray for the family tonight because that's their their dear to the heart i've i've known those people as long as i've known anybody in this world really and been friends for a long, long time. Been in service with them many, 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 many times. Brother Lonis used to come with us over in the Bible class on Sunday morning a lot. Him, him and Brother Bud Smith. Bud Smith went on to be with the Lord about a year, a little over a year ago. And uh, Brother Lonis and Bud was good friends, and they'd get together there in that Bible class and just have a absolute wonderful time. And we got good memories. That I tell you, that's. Uh, I thank the Lord for him too. Church, let's remember in our prayers tonight, uh, Jerry and Brenda Contrell, uh, Mary Freeman, Ann Huckabee, Brian Claiborne, Lewis and Mary Lay, Riola Davis, Josephine Gillard, Wanda Oric, Judy Baird, Billy Baird, uh, Pat Pierce, Trina Phillips, Mary Lou Kidwell, Ella Jean Queener, uh, Monty Miller and Leona and the family, Charles Black, Robert, and Paul Black. Now, I know them boys, every one of them. Uh, and let's, when we go to pray, we want to remember them. And uh, listen, others, if you've got prayer requests that you want us to pray about, call it in. Uh, the sisters out there, a man on the phones tonight, and she'll take the information down. And when we finish here the program tonight, we take all the prayer requests that, that we get. Take them over to church and put them in the uh, prayer box, and they pray over. We pray over the uh, prayer request just about every service, and uh, we're, somebody in the church is always praying about them. Then, so, so if you got a prayer request, well, just call that in. All right, children, we'll ask the singers. We will just come around around, take their liberty, and sing some, and then we'll just kind of interrupt in between. Okay. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. We're glad to be here tonight. Yeah. I know some of those names on there. If you're out there, Wanda, and uh, we'll sing this song for you. And I don't know if uh, Ann Huxby, that may be uh, Pete Huxby's mother. I ain't sure. 
Uh, yeah. If y'all are out there, God bless you. And uh, we'll just be praying for you. Y'all pray for us. It's a new group. It's a new ministry for us. But, you know, that's we just want to work. We just want to get out there and yeah. get a plow and, <laughs> and then just start plowing is what Amen. we want to do. I got saved here in this town in Russell's Motel in 1996. Gave my life to the Lord. And some more. And um, a lot of people out there know me. They know the man that used to be. Well, he's gone now. I just yeah. want to tell you. Yeah, clear. God. He's gone. Man. And there's a new man. Yeah. I put on a new coat. Yes, the Lord. Amen. I put on a new coat. And my life ain't never been the same. And if you Amen. want to do that, if you don't if you don't believe me, I, I beckon you to try it. And you'll say the same thing in a few years. You'll be telling somebody that. Amen, brother. Amen. 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 Want to stay right there? Since you're right there, we'll just do that song. Yeah. Here's a song for all these prayer requests. Um, you know, that's the main objection here is, you know, we want to go. You want to go to heaven. You must be born again. Amen. Yes. Amen. Oh 
glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. It's an awful place. <laughs> Believe me, you've only got two choices. That's right. It's heaven Amen. or it's hell. Amen. That's it, folks. That's it. it ain't a multiple choice. It's a yes or a no. Yes. You gotta know. You can't just think you know. Well, I I believe I'm saved. If you say that you're not saved, I'm telling you right now, brother, you got to know that you know that you know. Amen, Amen yes. brother. Amen. If you can say it with that kind of authority, if God saved you, the same Christ that gave His blood for me saved you, Amen. you'll have authority about yeah, it. Yeah, you will. Glory to God. That's right. Amen. 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 Bless you, children. Glory. Praise God. I feel the Lord here tonight. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Well, I thank the Lord for being here tonight. Yeah. Yes. You know, there's not many people here in the studio, but it says we're one or two or three are gathered in my name. He said, I'll be in the midst. Amen. Yes. Yeah. I've been going down the road before down just praying and having church by all by myself. Yes, me too, brother. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You out there that may be lost tonight, you may be trying to second guess it, trying to give every, God every excuse in the world. Yes. You have no excuses for God. That's right. Yes. Amen, brother. It don't matter where you've been or what you've been into, God no. still loves you tonight. Yes, He does. If He's forgiven God, if He can forgive the, the man in a jailhouse that's been a murderer and save his soul, He can save yours tonight. Yes. Amen. 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 I'll never forget, I was sitting there one Sunday morning on the pew and got to thinking about how this world has got. How we've stereotyped and we've put people and uh, uh, put uh, people off for what they've done. We've we've named, put everybody in a category of their own and think they ain't worth nothing. But Jesus went to those, the multitude, that didn't didn't have anything. Oh, Amen. Right. He went to the ones that, the whoremongers, the ones that had been in awful things. Yes. The thieves. He went to them because yes, they were here. Amen. He said that he went, came to the, he came to his own, and they received him not. That's right. So he decided to go on his way and to, 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 to those that needed that were less fortunate. He did. It don't matter, God. No matter who you are, what you've done, how much money you got in your pocket. When it's all said and done, it's with you're lost, you're saved. Yes, amen. God, when you get to the pearly gates and and, and God requires of you, He's not going to ask what you've done in your life. No. He's going to see if the blood has been applied to you. That's right. Yes, amen. I thank God, you know, we, we struggle through this life day in, day out, working and trying to provide for our family. But thank God one day after a while, that trial is going to be over with. Yes, amen. I think all the things I have to do for my family and all the things that I have to do to my house, my house is just temporary that God's given me. And I just get to thinking of what it's going to be like. Yes. Amen. I'm going to leave all those trials and all those tribulations behind. Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. Right, you may have a million dollars in your pocket. Now you may be living in a fine home and praise the Lord for it. Yes. But you didn't know where that come from. Yes. Without that, you would be nothing. Yes. Paul said himself, he said, I am who I am through the grace of God. Yes. He was the chief of all amen, sinners. Brother. He said that. Yes, amen. That's right. Brother Eddie, he, he said he was the chief of all sinners. He did. He said, why? He said over and over, why would God use me? Yeah, he did. Why would God use me knowing where I've been, what I've done to his face? Yes. Paul thought that he was on his on the right way of got what God wanted yes, to do. He, he was a very smart man. Yes, he was. Amen. But he found on the road to Damascus where he was in life. Yeah. Right. You may be in that situation tonight, and I don't know your heart. I don't know why God's telling me to say this. Yeah, bless you. You may be fit thinking that you're doing the right thing. You may be thinking that you're a good person. That's all well and good. But praise the Lord, if you've not been ever been saved, and you know it for yourself, you're lost. That's all I know how to say. Amen, brother. You can be raised up in church. My wife just a couple years ago got saved. <laughs> praise the Lord. She grew up in church Amen. all of her life. Sung, sung with her daddy and mommy all, all, through her, all through her childhood. Thought she was saved in a little vacation Bible school because the lady prayed for her before and said, you said you're saved, honey. She didn't ever go under conviction. She never come under conviction for years. We were at Pleasant Grove Baptist Church for about six years. About three years in, she, we were at a revival. God spoke to her heart. He said, you're not right, honey. She came to me saying, Aaron, what do you do? What do we do? 
They get saved, I've brother. Received, I've received people thinking that I've been right with Thank God. I've been right with God. God. What am I going to do? I'm, I'm a preacher's wife. How am I going to explain this? I said, Honey, I can't say you nothing. You rejoice, brother. I can't say nothing for you, but you have to find that out for yourself. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. One Sunday morning, she got right with the Lord. Yeah. She said, I don't know how to explain it. I said, just tell her how it is. Yeah. 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 Amen. <laughs> right. Say, I thought I was saved, and I'm, I'm, I know I'm saved now. Yeah. Don't matter what people think, it's between you and God. That's right, right. brother. Amen. Amen. There's so That's many people, brother Harry, out today thinking they've been saved. That's thinking that because so and so said this and so and so never said that. Never have a relationship with Christ. That's right. That's right. They've never known him. Yes. Talk to your brother, brother Jamie Emmon. Praise the Lord. I don't think you'll mind a bit for me saying this. He called I, I talked to him the other night. They were in revival with my father and uh, my dad and uh, my dad was uh, down in the revival, and they came and sang, and he said three days before, he, he, he gave his life to the Lord. Right. Same situation. 25 years, he said, I thought I was saved. He said, I wondered why. I couldn't raise my hand, and I couldn't give my testimony. Right. He said, Lord, come to me in the middle of the night and said, you're a lost, Jamie. Right. He said, Lord, what, what is wrong with me? He said, I, he cried and cried and cried and prayed all night long. Lord revealed to him he'd never been saved. Amen. <laughs> Until you know that you, you know that you know that you know. Yeah. You know the Lord for yourself, not anybody else. That's right. I can't right. say I can't save you. Andy can't save you. The preacher down the road can't save you. No. Only Jesus Christ can save your soul. Amen, brother. Amen. If you believe on any other name, you'll go you go straight to hell. That's right. right. I'm tired of hearing people put people sugarcoat it. That's why the world's in the shape it's in. Yeah, yeah. If you're not saved, you're not bought by the precious blood of Jesus and knowing for yourself, you'll split hell wide open. That's exactly Amen. Amen. I love you tonight and I want everybody to go with you. I do too. Amen. Amen. If we don't have that burning in our heart, when you check ourselves, don't we? That's right. You know, we started this little group and I don't know how far it'll go. God just led us to do this for a little while and we've got our own churches and we I evangelized and Andy evangelized a little bit, but we're going to do what God would have us to do. Yeah, right. There's so many out there. That He's going, brother. I find myself, Brother Harry, going so short. Me too. Saying, Lord, here I am again. Forgive me for what I've not done. Yes. He yeah. said, but he said, many are called, but few are chosen. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Those that are bought by his blood need to be out working for him while today. Amen. He said, for when night shall come, no man shall work. Right. That's right. Amen. Time's drawing short, like Brother Harry said. You need to know where you're at with the Lord. Amen. That's right. And if you're right with the Lord, you need to be out working for Him. That's right. People have put put so much on. Well, I've just got my family saved. It's all well and good. That's not good enough. Oh, no, brother. No. no matter if you're a preacher, you're a singer, who, whatever that God's called you to do, you need to be doing it. Yes. That's Amen. right. Don't matter Amen. if you're the part. You're the the 90 year old woman on the back row praying for whoever's at church. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to be doing tonight. Amen. No That's matter how, God. God didn't have any respected person when no. He gave people that, no. people abilities to do things. <laughs> he said He would give them to those that seek it. That's right. Amen. He's not going to give you a task that you can't accomplish. No. Brother Harry, the Lord called me to preach at 18 years old. Been 10, year, 10 or 11 years now. I was a senior in high school getting ready to go in my senior year and God called me to preach. And I said, Lord, I can't do this. I'm just a kid. <laughs> I, I prayed and prayed and said, Lord, I don't want to be a preacher. Daddy's a preacher. I don't want people thinking wrong of me if that's not what God wants me to do. He said, I didn't call your daddy. I called you. <laughs> Brother Harry, I still don't know what I'm doing. Don't know how to preach the Word of God. All I know to do is follow the Spirit. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Amen. I've <laughs> been preaching for a long time and don't know Half what I'm doing most of the time. Follow Jesus. But all I can do is follow the Lord. Amen. Amen. Follow you. All I can tell you tonight is to follow Jesus Christ if you'll ever lead your own. No That's right. <laughs> that old song says if one if just one more soul were to walk down the aisle, it'd be worth it all. Yeah. Yes. Don't matter if you've been preaching, you've been singing, you've been doing these things for many years. If you see one rescued from a devil's hell, it's worth every bit. Amen. 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 Every trial, every tribulation Amen. that we'll go through tomorrow and the next week. Years to come will be worth every bit right, right, because right. we've we've had one to accept Jesus Christ yes. as their Lord and Savior.
Amen. I thank God for being here tonight. I it's good to have you, bro. Don't know what to say, but thank the Lord I'm saved tonight. Amen, brother. Thank Amen. God that He looked upon me as wretched and as low as I was and came to me and saved my soul when I was that year old little boy. What I can take you back to the place. I got to thinking we had a, a uh, uh, choir leader from the church. I used to go to any amount of Baptist church when I was a little boy. And got to thinking, I said, Lord, He's been there ever since I can remember. Remember, He was there the night I got saved. I got saved at Christmas play. I can take you to the very spot mm -hmm. that I got saved. Yes. When I knelt to pray, I my uh, cousin Jimmy York prayed with me, and I don't, I don't even know what I said. I said, Jimmy, I don't know how to pray. He said, Just pray for yourself. All I had to say was, Lord, I'm a sinner. Save me, and He saved me right then. Yeah, yeah man. I believe right. in my heart. He saved me when I got out of the pew. Yeah. <coughs> yeah he did. But he had to, he had to hear me ask him to save yes. my soul. Yes. That's one. Thank the Lord. Can you take? Can you go back to that place? Yes. Can you go back to that time that you were saved? If you can't, you need to, you need to pray about it. Amen, brother. Thank the Amen. Lord for being saved tonight. Thank you, sheep. Yes. so good to us. I, I was thinking about the brother testifying there and talking about how good God was to save him. 
You know, I tell people all the time, hey, if you don't want to be eternally changed, you better stay away from Jesus because he'll do the job, brother. Did you know that? I'm telling you, when he comes down, when he comes down in your heart, He'll make a difference. And the only one I know of that can. I, I tell people all the time, I tried I tried turning over a new leaf, and I tried changing my mind, uh, all that. It lasts two or three days. But I'm glad what I've got a hold of started in 1971. It's still good tonight. Amen? Amen. What, we, what Jesus done for us, it's still holding true. Uh, sing a song for Brother Steve Goins and Sister Lorraine. Been pe good people. Been friends for yeah, a lot of years. Uh, Brother Steve got got saved in the revival that was going on going on up at Fincastle years ago when we was a pastor up there. Uh, we love him, people. Judy and Clifford, uh, Cadell, uh, good people, been friends, and the Paris Paris's whole family, all of them. Uh, I'm sad to say we 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 buried a lot of that family. A lot of them people we we preached their funerals, and they've been close to us for years and years. And I really miss Paris. I know that because he just we was together every day, seven days a week for over eight years. We did a radio broadcast live every morning, and then we'd go out and pray for people and go to the hospital and pray for them. I tell you, just uh, they, you, you get real. When you get to working that close with people and, and working for the Lord, you get real close, I'm telling you. And uh, we, we miss them, I know that. But you know, they're, they're, just a, they're just a day ahead of us, that's all. They're just one day in heaven. You know, ain't no night. It's just one glorious day. And so they're just one day ahead of I mean, I'm going to get there. I don't know exactly when, but we, we love the family. Clifford, Judy, we're praying for you, and, and we'll dedicate you a song, too. Uh, sing a song for, for Joyce and Alvin that's enjoying the program. And uh, sing a song and pray, uh, remember in prayer, uh, Marvin and Becky Payne, good people. Becky said she's glad to be home from the hospital, and I'm sure she is, bless her heart. I tell you, at that hospital, just, it don't take much of that to do us, does it? And uh, Sister Georgia Goins family want to remember uh, Melissa Davis in her prayers, too. And then uh, I, I had promised some others that, that we would dedicate them a song, too. Sister uh, Betty Trammell and, and Ricky Hudson down Jacksboro. And the Lawless Wilson family, John and Lucille Heatherly, and Brother Steve Renneman and Connie, and, and Jeanette. Now, Jeanette's been real sick, and uh, we've got her on the prayer list too. We want to continue to pray for them. Uh, Brother Bob Fraley and his family out at the Pine Crest, and Brother Everett Chapman. And them. Boy, I tell you, Everett got wound up on church last night. I'll tell you, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed his testimony. And Brother M.C. Boyd from Sunday and all of them. We just had a glorious time. Lord is so good to us. And. Uh, uh, in in prayer tonight, church, we uh, brother, uh, we've got a young man in our family uh, that uh, my sister-in-law's uh, uh, grandson. It's just he's real. He's young. Uh, I believe about 20 years old, but he is he is in real serious condition in UT Hospital. Been over for about three, going on there four weeks now, and he just they just he just. Seem like you get just a little bit better, and then you have a back set, and it just it's just really uh, taking its toll on him and the family. So we're, we've got him on the prayer list, and so let's remember them when we go to pray uh, tonight, and and when we leave here, and uh, and when you go to your prayer closets tomorrow, you you call that young man's name out to the Lord, and let uh, uh, see you watch God move for him. Come on, children, Amen. say Amen. whatever God places on your heart. <clears throat> Maybe give them a phone number. Help, help people get a hold of it. When they come to church or whatever. How to get a hold of it. Who they need to contact. Sheila. Yeah. You. <laughs> you. That would be me. Um, I'm Sheila Falls. This is my brother Andy Miller. And my nephew, Aaron Lawson. So we're, we're all family, and uh, you can reach us at 423-494-7080. Um, if there's a place you need us to come sing, help out in any way, we'd be glad to do that. Um, just give us a call, and, and we'll, we'll try our very best to, to meet whatever needs you have. You want to sing? What do you want to do next? we we'll do Mama's song, one of Mama's songs before we get out of here. Sure. Which one? Whichever. That one right there? Okay, go ahead. Okay. And I'm just going to sing. You can just play guitar. Okay. Sounds good. Don't have it down all the way yet. Would we do that in A flat? <clears throat> I've seen mountains so tall and 
majestic I've seen rivers so deep and so wide as I sit here and gaze at all you created what an awesome sight to see for thinking of me Just one thought made the heavens Just one thought made the sea All of the things you That bloom in the spring As I lie here In the light of the moonlight In the beauty of an ocean of stars Thank you, Lord Of me, just one thought made the heavens, just one thought made the sea. All of the things you create. We're going to speed things up a little bit. you got to be sure about things now. Amen. That's what this song says here. I'm a man of flesh and blood. Of this one thing I'm sure of. I was made from the dust. And the dust I will return. 
Love the dust, it ain't the end, cause in the heart of the world, I swear it is all so to the fathers long ago. Please share, be assured, if you trust in the Lord, our call on his name is gonna be forevermore.
And I just want to thank you for always being there when I was so down and down. You came along and made me want to shout. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She will sing that last verse again. If I had a thousand lives to live, I'd give them all to my Lord. He's been so good to me. He brought me through cancer. That is the least I could. He's made the good time. tonight. I thought about this. They sing a song every once in a while that talks about drinking from the saucer because my cup's overflowed. That's how I feel in God, don't you? Amen. 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 All, he's, all he's ever done. Church, listen, since 1971, all he's ever done has been so good to me, brother. That's right. Thank God. Blessed me a long life journey. Took care of me. Thank God opened doors that I'd, I'd have never dreamed He would open for me. That's what God's done. Made me a watered garden, and I praise Him for it tonight. He's been, he's been sweet to my soul. I tell, I tell people over at the church all the time, I'm, I'm, God's been so good to me, I'm ashamed to ask Him for anything. <laughs> he's already done so much. I, I, I spent a lot of time thanking Him for what He's done, brother, because I tell you, He sure has blessed. Let, church, let's remember and pray for uh, Kenneth Bolton and, and family. Uh, Gary Comer and his family, and Agnes Gibson and her family. Uh, Georgia Goins says, uh, you you guys are doing a good job. I hope you can come back, and I do too. And uh, sing and pray uh, for John Phillips and Hazel and, and family down at Bruce's Gap. Brother John, he comes up here with us a lot, and uh, we, we, we really enjoy him when he's here. Uh, loves the Lord. Man, been traveling for Jesus for a long time. We love him, and we appreciate him calling in. Says so he's enjoying the program, too children. Uh, sing a song for uh, Glenda Huddleston, uh, Mabel Silcox, Bonnie and Joe Allen, and Mary and Ramey Neal enjoying the program. And Brother Bob Wilson, God bless his heart and his family. And Sister Wilma Bruce, uh, of course Wilma Serena, I, she, that girl is, uh, we go all the way back to Little bitty childhood, I'm telling you. We, I've, I've known her as long as I've known anybody. And just good people. And uh, Millie and Flory, her mom and daddy, and and her, her brother, uh, Ernest. I, me and him, back when I first got out of high school, I, 
I never will forget, I didn't have nothing, no, wasn't no work here in 1967. I, I borrowed $100 from my sister and left town. And when I, when I got in, I got into Ohio, I run into her brother and I told him the situation. He said, well, you can bunk with me a few days. And, and so mm -hmm. I, I, in fact, I, me and him bunked together there and shared an apartment for, he worked at Forbes at the time. And I'd got a job working, we was working nine hour shifts and two shifts a, a day if we wanted to. And now I sure wanted to because I was broke. I, I needed know. the job. And, uh, but but I, I, in fact, me and him shared an apartment there till, uh, till I, I got drafted in the, in the service in 1968. But uh, just, People have been my friends. In fact, uh, when me and my brother, of course, my brother's dead and gone. He died in 2000, drunk himself to death. And uh, me and him, we was, he was about 15 months younger than myself. But uh, Ernest used to. <laughs> he was the only. He was the only man in 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 the community that had electric uh, hair tools to cut hair with, you know. Everybody else had those kind that you did that with the hands, yeah. you know, with the hands. And boy, they just pulled you. I'm telling that you know you've been to the barber when you got a haircut with those things. But but Ernest had some electric clippers, and we'd go up there, you know, just shag it. <laughs> he'd cut that hair off, and we we get he he cut so much of the us boys' was hair there the, uh, on the front porch, and them old clippers get red hot. <laughs> He left, he, he left them. He said, "We just have to let them cool, boys, for a few minutes. We, we get another one." But I, you know, times is uh, times has changed in a lot of ways, and and time takes its toll on us in a lot of ways, don't it? But you know, church, I thought about uh, the memories that we have. Uh, I thank God for them because they're good ones. We was raised poor, we was raised tough and and hard, and I know that. But you know what? God's been so good to us. And it lets us know. Uh, you know, when, when you know where you was and you know where God brought you to, brother, let me tell you something. It makes you appreciate Amen. how good God is. And I'll tell you, it, it's God's good pleasure. Why, you know what he said? He said that it wasn't his will that any person, but that all would come to right. He, he right. wants every one of us That's tonight right. to enjoy the salvation of God. Did you know that? That's and right. there's liberty. Now listen, there's liberty in Christ if we want it. Uh, I thought about sometimes if uh, the reason why people's not at liberty in Christ, they don't want him. It's you know just what? that simple. They like the, the hellish lifestyle that they're in. They like the garbage that they're wallowing in. But brother, I'm glad that Jesus will bring you up out of that. Did you know that? Right. Uh, I thought about the rock. Brother, praise God. It's good to be on. That's right. It's good to be on the rock tonight. Praise God. That rock is Christ Jesus. Did That's you know right. that? Right. Only one I know that can touch your life and That's make right. a difference is Jesus. Now, I praise Him. I'll tell you, Amen. church, he's been, he's been good to me. I tell I tell sometimes my my mother whenever I was just little before she before she went to work in the shirt factory she used to make a make a little white layer cake and and she'd put chocolate icing on the cake and boy I tell you it was just wonderful for me I thought it was the best in the West you know but every once in a while she'd take a little extra time and she'd put chocolate even between the layers, you know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. And that's kind of what God's done for me. He's he, he's layered everything, and he put the good stuff ever, on every turn. Did you know what I'm talking about? Amen. Every way I've turned, God. That's what God will do for you. Amen. It's his good pleasure to do that. Right. And let me tell you something tonight, friend. We're not going to bankrupt heaven and let God bless us. Did you know that? No, no. he's got plenty. He said he's, he'd, if we just recall on his sweet and holy name, said he'd open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing. Amen. He said we wouldn't even be able to hold it, brother. That's right. He said we couldn't contain it, praise Amen. God. I'm glad I got a hold of something like that. Come on, children, sing some more. Yeah, yeah, praise God. We're glad to be too. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> you know who you are out there? He's called you a hundred times. Yeah. He's called you to get up and stand up a hundred times. You're listening tonight. <laughs> Let me tell you, brother, don't be sorry and lazy. Yep. Just get up. Lord's got something for everybody to do. Let's just quit being lazy. Yeah, sure quit being lazy and get out there. There's many souls out here that need to be saved. Amen. There's something you can do. He's called you before. Yeah. I <laughs> bless you, Jesus. We'll do get up. Huh? You said get up. We're going to do get up. <laughs> All right. What can you do? Let's go. Get up now. This is a song that says get up. Yeah. <laughs> well, get up. Get up. Get up. In Jesus' name. The Lord is calling daily for those who will be saved. Don't go down defeated. For the victory 
he's here to claim. He loved me, Lord. He loved me, Jesus. Saying. Well, at the gate, how beautiful there lay down in the street. The poor and lonely beggar who was crippled at his feet. When John and Peter passed him, saw his knee was bad. They had no gold and silver, but they gave him what they had. Well, get up, get up, get up in Jesus' name. The Lord is calling daily for those who will be saved. Don't go down defeated, for the victory's here to claim. Get up, get up, get up in Jesus' name. He called you a long time ago. Overcome with fear, but God is needing soldiers to get out of their pew and take a hold of the power that John and Peter hear. We're up, get up, get up in Jesus' name. The Lord is calling daily for those who will be saved. Don't go down defeated, for the victory's here to claim. Get up, get up. Here, hold on, Chilla, because I need you to give your phone number again. Uh, Georgia Riggs called in and, and Ava Smith and want to uh, remember them in prayer. 